well, for most of us, dieting is a nightmare. We worry about everything. It takes a lot of commitment and a lot of willpower. But did you know that the Internet can actually take some of the stress out of dieting? Heather Cabot is Yahoo's web life editor. She's here with the 411 on digital dieting and five ways it'll keep you on track and looking your very best. Welcome back, Heather. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having me. You too. Uh, let's talk about the first step. Uh, there's a lot of support groups out there for people that want to do this. Right? In the old days, right, you go to a Weight Watchers meeting. You had to actually make time in your schedule to go out and be there to be with other people. People. Right. We don't have to do that anymore. In fact, on Yahoo, there are thousands, millions of groups. We actually have 10 million groups on Yahoo groups, wow. and many of them are diet related. Everything from women uh, trying to get fit who are over 50 to finding a local curves group in your neighborhood uh -huh. uh, to people who are Biggest Loser fans. Well, it gives a lot of extra motivation. Yeah, you can meet other people, like-minded people, exactly, and share what you're going through. And it really helps when you have that, uh, you know, you have a snack attack at 10 p.m. <laughs> and you, know, you can't go to a meeting, but you can log on and find other people who may be going through the same thing. Right, and also the Internet is a great place to find recipes as well. Yes, of course, you know, I, I want to plug uh, Yahoo Food. If you go to food.yahoo.com, you can search low-fat recipes. But there's also a great website, and this woman is also a blogger for um, Yahoo as well. Her name is Hungry Girl, mm -hmm. and her website is hungrygirl.com. She also sends out a daily email, and her whole thing is tips and tricks for hungry chicks. Oh, really? Which I love that, and it's, it's low-fat versions of recipes we all love. In fact, today's email that she sent out was about these uh, fried green beans that you order at uh, TGI Fridays that obviously would be awful for you, but she has a low-fat version. So you get these emails every day with these great creative ideas for how to how mm -hmm. to cut down but also still enjoy the food that you love. Speaking of great ideas, there's also a lot of information out there on the Internet now if you're dieting, but there's a couple in particular that you want to tell us about. Right? Well, one of the things that we've learned, and obviously the American Dietetic Association has been saying this for years, that writing down what you eat and how much you exercise can really help you get to success. Mm -hmm. And so on the Internet, there are so many tools to help you do that. I really like calorie king.com which is uh, pretty much the largest database of uh, uh, basically caloric values of foods that you eat I mean anything from fast food to ethnic foods I looked up one of my favorites China masala on there which normally I couldn't find I, I tend to do um, I follow Weight Watchers and that wasn't in my database for Weight Watchers if you go to calorie king you can find really diverse foods and, and how much how many calories they're worth and also how many what you need to do to burn burn it off oh wow and the fourth area of digital dieting you say is participation what do you mean by that well I think it's you know it's this idea of community and it's this idea of um, you know again with the groups but also um, reading blogs finding out what other people are, are uh, writing about what they're going through calorie King has a great community on there and also the woman activity tracker which is a website that was developed by the US government oh. which tells you um, the step value for activities you're doing doing during the day so instead of wearing a pedometer right. for example you can log on there and see uh, for example vacuuming how many steps that that's worth uh, or in my case a spinning class how many steps that's worth mm -hmm. the goal is to do 10,000 steps per day for women uh, or 30 minutes of moderate exercise per day and you've mentioned so much already and given a lot of people extra advice but there's a few other things on the internet that'll help make this easier like calculators and things like that that people can use as far as tools yeah I mean one of the things you need to know when you're counting calories is how many calories should you be eating per day and how many should you be aiming to burn um, a lot of these sites calorie King uh, you know gives you a tool to figure that out also, if you go to health.yahoo.com, our health site, you can find a lot of these tools as well. All right. Thank you so much, Heather. You're a lot welcome. of information in there. And digital dieting, something new to this generation. You know, we're talking about it today. Well, now it's your turn. What's the one piece of modern technology that you could not live without? Maybe it's your cell phone. Maybe it's your